Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as my, um, my colleagues have uh, made clear, uh, we have reviewed the, um, the uh, government amendments to Bill 36 and uh, for the most part are willing um, to support them. Uh, I've been uh, quickly trying to go through and sort of do a fast uh, comparison about uh, uh, what's being proposed and, and uh, yes indeed we, we think in many ways that this is um, uh, an improvement uh, on the bill as first presented. The sticking point, of course, is that definition that is appearing under Section 2 uh, and specifically uh, Clause G, which is giving a sort of list. And I've come to understand uh, that the uh, Minister of uh, Sustainable Resource Development um, understands the effective language very clearly, uh, and I take him seriously. So I know that when he has ordered it, with the economy first and the environment second, followed by the rest of the list, that's the prioritization. That's not a mistake. It's not alphabetized or uh, put in that uh, order randomly. Uh, that is deliberate. And that is where uh, I have trouble with what is being anticipated in this bill. Uh, and this whole bill has been a struggle for me. As the uh, environment critic for the official opposition, uh, I'm supposed to be you know, reviewing um, acts of legislation to see if it has an undue effect on our environment, proposing alternatives, et cetera, et cetera. And this bill overall, we hear from a number of sources, and, and in our own minds we understand that we need this. We need an overall plan about how we are going to use the land in Alberta. We need some kind of a framework that is going to allow the increasing number of competing um, demands coming from different sectors, from the municipalities, from the agricultural community, uh, from the oil and gas development and exploration community, from forestry. Uh, you know, there's just so many different um, uh, competing sectors uh, right now are all trying to get their piece and get dominance, frankly, over how the land is going to be used and get, uh, get the land uh, framework and, and the use of that land to, uh, to what is going to uh, help them the most, that is going to be, um, uh, give them the most advantage. Um, so it's clear that we need some kind of a plan, but I this is a sticking point for me, and it causes me great concern. I'm an Albertan. I understand that the wealth that I enjoy, that funds the things that are important to me, like the arts, like education, like um, health care, um, that uh, a good deal of it flows from our, um, our um, industrial sector, particularly oil and gas. I get that. Um, we've certainly talked about the royalties and endowment funds and all of the rest of that for a very long period of time. But I think it's a mistake to write a land use framework that gives the number one position uh, to the economy. Because that's what we've got is under section um, two, two, 2G, if, uh, and these are the definition sections that appear at the beginning of the bill. Effect includes, and what we have now is any effect on the environment, human health or safety, a species or an objective in a regional plan, regardless of the scale, nature, intensity, duration, frequency, probability, or potential of the effect, and a cumulative effect that arises over time or in combination with other effects. What we're looking at now, given the government amendments, is a list that reads, effect includes any effect on the environment, I'm sorry, any effect on the economy, environment, a community, human health or safety, a species or an objective, et cetera, et cetera. So as you hear the minister talk about trying to achieve a balance between the environment, uh, the economy and the social sector, we've now had a prioritization. And I read this as a prioritization. Um, and having watched uh, this minister for some time, I don't think this was accidental. I do see it as a prioritization. And that um, is the problem for me. And it's not because I happen at this point in time to be the environment critic. Six months ago, I was a finance critic. You know, these things come and go. I'm not doing this just because that's the position I'm holding at this time. 
but because I become increasingly aware as I look at um, uh, the choices that other countries have made that in some cases they get up and look out the window and go, okay, I've got a bank account, but guess what? Uh, there's no leaves on the trees outside, or my children, I have to take them to an indoor facility to play because their asthma is so bad they can't go outside, and given the number of particulates in the air that we have in this particular region, uh, you know, they can't go outside and play or they'll have an asthma attack. So I think we, you know, it's that same argument about health and money. Money means nothing if you are dying of something. It means nothing. I mean, you might have fluffier pillows and more pay people standing around your bed. You're still sick, you still feel like crap, you're not enjoying life, and you're dying. So all that money isn't doing you any good. It's the same issue here. We, I don't think we have achieved much if what we do is say, the economy always gets priority in first position and preference as we start to make decisions about allocations of things here. Now, I understand that we needed to put the word economy into this section um, because there was already some uh, signaling that uh, those people that felt that they had an economic interest could claim that the framework had no impact on them because there was no right, no ability uh, in, the, um, in the bill uh, to make a decision based on an economic decision. Uh, and people were signaling that they weren't going to cooperate because the bill didn't have the power to do that or the bill was not uh, giving itself that power. So um, I, it, it's already getting late. This is yeah. the second night I've been in here for a long time. Uh, I won't belabor the point and we will have an opportunity to come back uh, and talk about this uh, some other time. It would be nice if we didn't have to do this all tonight. Um, but I suspect the government's going to make us do it all tonight. Um, but I think that is the concern, and, um, and I, I think we make a mistake uh, if we prioritize or signal uh, that our preference is that the economy comes first in a list of, of, of prioritized um, uh, considerations um, that we make as we look at land use planning. So thank you for the opportunity to put that on the record. Uh, I'm certainly willing to support uh, all of the other um, sections in this government amendment, but uh, I cannot uh, support uh, the uh, section that's under uh, named A in the government amendments. Thank you.